is it your intention, sir, to close the border this weekend? What would it take to not close the border? Well, I haven't made that intention known, and uh, I'm ready to close it if I have to close it. Mexico, as you know, as of yesterday, has been starting to apprehend a lot of people at their southern border coming in from Honduras and Guatemala and El Salvador, and they've, uh, they're really apprehending thousands of people. And it's the first time really in decades that this has taken place, and this should have taken place a long time ago. You know, Mexico has the strongest immigration laws in the world. There's nobody has stronger. I guess some have the same, but you can't get any stronger than what Mexico has. And we don't want people coming up, making that very dangerous journey and coming in. Our system is absolutely maxed out. And Border Patrol has done an incredible job, but the system is absolutely maxed out. And uh, it's a very unfair thing. So Mexico has, uh, as of yesterday, made a big difference. You'll see that because few people, if any, are coming up. And they say they're going to stop them. Let's see. They have the power to stop them. They have the laws to stop them. And what we have to do is Congress has to meet quickly and make a deal. I could do it in 45 minutes. We need to get rid of chain migration. We need to get rid of catch and release and visa lottery, and we have to do something about asylum. And to be honest with you, I have to get rid of judges. Every time, and you won't even believe this, Mr. Secretary General, you catch somebody that's coming illegally into your country, and they bring them to a court. But we can't bring them to a court because you could never have that many judges. So they take their name, they take their information, and they release them. Now, we don't release too many. We keep them. It's called catch and keep. But you don't have facilities for that. But you have to bring them through a court system. If they touch your land, one foot on your land, welcome to being Perry Mason. You now have a big trial. So what they've done over the years is they release them into the United States, and they say, come back in four years for a trial. And nobody comes back. I guess 1 percent, 1 to 2 percent on average come back, and nobody can understand why they come back. They're the only ones that come back. It is the, wor the worst, dumbest immigration system in the world. The Democrats could change it with one meeting. Everybody would agree. But they don't want to change it because they don't want to give the Republicans a victory. They don't want to change it because they want open borders, which means crime and lots of other things coming in, including drugs. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I think the Democrats today, I spoke to a couple of them, and they, all of a sudden they're changing because they're seeing it really is a crisis. It is a national emergency on the border. And let's see if they can do it. But I want to thank. It's a very short period of time because for years this should have been done. But Mexico is now stopping people coming. Very easy for them to do, stopping people coming in through Mexico. Let's see if they keep it done, if, if they keep doing that. Now, if they don't, or if we don't make a deal with Congress, the border is going to be closed, 100 percent. And this should have been done by other presidents. So many things should have been done by other presidents. But if we don't make a deal with Congress, or if Mexico, and probably you can say and or, if Mexico doesn't do what they should be doing, they shouldn't have people coming into their country either. This is their southern border that they have to protect. Then we're going to close the border. That's going to be it. Or we're going to close large sections of the border. Maybe not all of it. But it's the only way we're getting a response, and I'm totally ready to do it. And I will say this. Many people want me to do it because we're being abused by a bad legal system that was put in by Democrats and that has to be changed. And it can be changed in 45 minutes if they want to change it. Let's see what they do. Yes, Steve. Mr. President, the question on the, the impact on the U.S. economy by closing the border? Sure, it's going to be, have a negative impact on the economy. It's one of the biggest trade deals in the world that we've just done with the USMCA. Uh, it's a very big trading partner. But to me, trading is very important. The borders are very important. But security is what is most important to me. I have to have security. This is what this gentleman is all about, to my right. And we're going to have security in this country. That's more important than trade. Hey, all you hear me talking about is trade. But let me just give you a little secret. Security is more important to me than trade. So we're going to have a strong border, or we're going to have a closed border. 
And, you know, when we close that border, we will stop hundreds of millions of dollars of drugs from coming in, because tremendous amounts of drugs come through our southern border. And so that's one of the benefits. So I'm totally prepared to do it. We're going to see what happens over the next few days.